Take a look at the address of this device. 192.2030.27/29. What is its subnet address? What is its first usable address? And what is its last usable address? And lastly, what is its broadcast address? Well, immediately we can see a few important facts. This is a Class C private address. This type of network uses the first 24 bits. Well, wait a sec. These 24 network bits have just borrowed 5 more bits from here. Like so. How do we know that? Well, CIDR tells us 24 plus 5 equals 29. Here are your 24 network bits. You need 5 more to get to slash 29. Those 5 are gotten from here, the 4th octet. They are part of an octet, and so they take on the values of 128, 64, 32, 16, and 8. These bits don't concern us right now, so let's move them aside. The rightmost borrowed bit is the block size. Knowing this, we can now calculate the subnets. So your first five subnet addresses will be 192.20.30.0.8.16.24 and .32. Each subnet is an increment of 8, that block size. Into which subnet now does this address fit? Here, between 0 and 8? No, 27 is too big. Here? No. Here? No. And here? Ah, bingo. 27 fits between 24 and 32. It fits right in here. So this address is the subnet address of this address. Let's now focus here on the subnet address. Let's move this up. Make it bigger. Add 1. And now, here is your first usable address in that subnet. Dot .25. Let's clean up a bit and label it. Now, what's the broadcast address? You know, that reserved address. Well, let's figure it out. The next subnet address is this address. Dot .24 plus 8. The block size giving us dot 32 minus 1 and bingo we have our broadcast address dot 31 let's get some room and now we subtract 1 from the broadcast address and you get your last usable address in this subnet which is dot 30 in this subnet so we have our subnet address plus 1 to get the first usable address. And then we have our next subnet address over here, which is the dot .24 plus 8, the block size, 192.20.30.32, our next subnet address, minus 1 to get the broadcast address, minus 1 again to get the last usable address. And the address we were given at the start of the problem, 192.20.30.27.29, where does he go? Well, he fits in right here. Let's get some space, like so. And there we have it.